Welcome back to College Conversations. I'm Dr. Fedor and I help you navigate college. Today, I'm gonna be giving you some tips on how to stay in touch with your professors after graduation. Now, stop before you click away and think, why on earth would I wanna do that? They tortured me, you know, whatever. I can't wait to get out of here and, you know, never see them again. There are a few of you out there who really enjoy the personal interactions. They enjoy coming to class every day and having that discourse and, and so forth, especially if you really loved your discipline, you did a lot of practicum work and you're really gonna miss them. Um, so here's some tips on how to stay in touch with your instructors after graduation. For the two of you who are interested in this, here goes. Um, so the first tip is before you leave school, make sure you're registered with your college's alumni office. Now, again, I know you're probably laughing like, oh, they're, our, they're all over me. They were there at graduation. They wouldn't let us escape. They need all this information. Um, your school's email, your school email will probably be dis decommissioned in about 12 months maybe sooner. So you really need to give them a personal email address um, if you want to stay in touch with people. And also it's a way for them to contact you. Um, so think about that. You won't have your school email, email address forever. Um, number two, attend gatherings in person if you can. Um, alumni gatherings, end of the school year gatherings, um, any kind of events. Um, now that those in-person events are picking back up, that's a little bit easier now. Um, if you, especially if you, you know, just want to have a casual conversation, you know, just wanted to let you know how much I enjoyed your class or your lecture on, you know, whatever the topic was. Um, you know, and again, stop laughing. <laughs> you know, some of you are thinking, why would I want to do that? But um, there's, a, there's a few of you out there, um, probably two, um, who you know, would want to you know, have a conversation with their professors in class, um, or professors from class, outside of class at an event and so forth. Um, and if you're living near school, you know, it's, um, it's a good way for you to take advantage of those events that are still happening on school. Um, also, they can give you ideas on ways to stay in contact, like being a teaching assistant or helping out with the future students in some way. Maybe you're a mentor or something, um, but they can give you some ideas on ways to stay in contact. Tip number three, join LinkedIn and set up a professional um, profile for yourself. Some of you have already done this. Um, uh, connecting with your professors via social media. I would probably just keep that at LinkedIn um, for now. And this is very helpful to you for a few reasons. Well, one, you'll know if um, people retire, move on, change jobs. Um, you'll know that because you'll see the little, you know, um, notice on LinkedIn. But also later on, if you need a letter of recommendation, you need a reference, you need something, you could message somebody on LinkedIn and then ask them, you know, if they could write a letter of recommendation for you. Um, that will make it easier for you going forward because you, um, if they've moved on from that school, then you'll still have a way to get in contact with them. Tip number four is to join a professional organization. Whatever your discipline is, um, you're probably already on the distribution list for that being a new graduate. Um, so if you're a CPA or like Society of Human Resource Professionals or Society of Engineers or um, whatever, whatever the case is, join the professional organization. Um, I've never seen them not be worth joining. You know, very rare cases would it not be in your best interest to join the professional organization. Um, also the Chamber of Commerce, if that makes sense where you are, um, you'll be able to keep in touch with people that way. Um, and that's, you know, another way for you to uh, stay connected for um, jobs and networking, but also to, to stay in contact with your instructors and professors um, from your discipline. 
The fifth tip is if you live nearby your school and this is feasible, you could go to sporting events. I know a lot of instructors and professors um, enjoy going to the athletic events. So if that's something that you can bond over, then you'll see them at the sporting events, at the games, at the fundraisers for the games. So those that's another way to kind of stay in touch with everyone um, in addition to you know the, the LinkedIn and so forth. And the last tip, number six, invite your old professors um, to be guest speakers at your new place of employment or judges or whatever you have going on. If there's a, a way that you can work them in, that's a nice way to stay connected. It's a nice way to um, uh, help out your new place of employment or if this, you know, it gives you a reason to go back to campus or, or something. So those are those are some tips. So to recap, for the two of you who actually want to stay in touch with your professors after you graduate, uh, number one, make sure you're registered with your school's alumni office because your school email will most likely be decommissioned within the year. Number two, attend as many in-person gatherings as possible, and then you can kind of have those casual conversations. Number three, Join LinkedIn and connect with instructors that way. And also be thinking that you'll have a way of messaging them if you change jobs or you're, you're needing a letter of recommendation in the future. Four is join professional organizations in your discipline. So whatever that looks like for you, um, you're probably already on a distribution list for that. Um, so read, don't hit delete, read through some of those emails before you hit delete. Five, go to athletic events and fundraisers for the um, for the athletes, and that's another way to stay connected and another way to, to see people um, from your old school and share that interest. And six, invite your old instructors to be guest speakers at your, or judges or whatever you need, at your new place of employment, and that'll kind of keep that relationship going. So good luck to all you new graduates. Um, I hope you find these tips useful. Please remember to hit subscribe and share these videos with people who might also find them useful. And remember to keep learning.